hey guys welcome back to the next video and in this video let me show you what happens when we add the alternative dimension all right so when we add the alternative dimension for example an option is given over here i have selected this bar chart and let me add an alternative and in this case let me um let me select for example um maybe province all right and let me come back over here and put it on done when i'm here if i go down on this chart you can see one option is enabled over here which is product upset subcategory if i click the option is given to me that i can even use the province for viewing the chart so in that case if you have any specific order in mind that by which your customers should show or should be or your end user should be able to see the different dimensions you can just come back and uh, go into edit mode and uh, just for now i'll just apply um, add the alternative dimension as you can see i have the option of adding another one so for example i want to add regions so now i have province i have regions right kind of a hierarchy so now over here instead of uh, province i can go ahead and select even the region based on what my needs are and i will get my updated chart so that's about the um and what it is asking me that i have some unsaved changes do, uh, do i want to apply yes i want to apply so i can add as many as i want but just uh, to be on a safer side anywhere between uh, three dimensions to five dimensions is good five is still way high because it may confuse your user because they need to interpret the chart based on what dimension is changing but it's a handy feature that you can use so that's pretty much it about this video uh, in this uh, about this topic and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic